currently available for Awakening the Rebellion 2.10 are two official submods that have been released by the AOTR developers themselves. The first is called the Cinematic Submod. This submod removes the stat buff slash nerf icons for a more cinematic experience, especially for screenshots. For example, if an infantry unit is being suppressed, the suppression icon will no longer appear. The unit will still be receiving the suppression effect, the icon showing this effect will simply no longer display, allowing for better visuals during gameplay, but less present information. I highly recommend checking out this submod for those who are looking for a cleaner, less occupied look and don't necessarily need to always know when your units are being buffed or nerfed. The second submod is the new Arcade submod that was recently released. This submod disables the ground, space, and leader tech to have all units available from the start. Additionally, all campaigns start with more credits to let you get into the action faster. In other words, with the Arcade Mode submod active, you will not have to worry about researching technology as the Empire or the Rebels, allowing you as the player and the AI to build all units available for the faction right when you start the campaign. On the contrary, you still will have to build the correct shipyards and production facilities required for those units, but perhaps you will see that addition to the submod in the future. My favorite feature of this submod is that you will not have to use the Black Sun's leader tech system anymore. With the Arcade Mode active as the Black Sun, you will be able to build all the units for that faction without having to commit to only one leader at a time. This gives you access to the whole Black Sun army and navy, making them a much more fun and viable faction to play. To install the submods into your own campaigns, first you will need to go to the Awakening of the Rebellion Discord. Both it and my own Discord will be linked in the description below. Once on the Awakening the Rebellion Discord, find the page called News and Announcements on the left panel of your screen. From there, you will see both submods. Click the link of the submod you wish to use. In the first example, I will do the cinematic submod, but both processes are the exact same, and I will show the process for the arcade mode submod later in the video. Clicking the link will take you to a Steam internet site about the submod. Yes, yes, go ahead and laugh at me that I don't use Google, haha, <laughs> so funny. From here, hit the green subscribe button, then scroll down to where you see the text Steam Mod equals a bunch of numbers and Steam Mod equals a bunch of numbers. It is a few texts beneath the big subscribe button. The first of the two Steam Mods and its numbers represent the submod, and the second Steam Mod and its numbers represent AOTR. Select both Steam Mods and the numbers like you see me do now. Copy these texts by pressing Ctrl C or right clicking and hitting Copy. From here, open up Steam and go to your Star Wars Empire at War page. On the right side of that page, you will see a gear icon which says Manage when you hover your mouse over it. Click Manage and then click Properties. A new tab will open with the label General. On that first General page at the very bottom is a text that says Advanced users may choose to enter modifications to their launch options. In the box below that, paste the Steam Mods text you copied earlier. Your screen should look roughly the same as mine. From here, simply click the X on the top right of that tab. Here's where things may get a little confusing. With the Steam mod codes you entered into the modification box I'm circling my mice around now, launching Empire War Forces of Corruption will launch you straight into whatever version of Awakening the Rebellion you have entered into the modification box. If you follow my directions using the Cinematic Submod link, you will be launched straight into AOTR with the Cinematic Submod activated. If you did the Arcade Mode Submod, you will be launched straight into that version of AOTR. And when I say launch straight into AOTR, I mean you will no longer have to go through the mod section of Empire War Forces of Corruption, instead you will be launched straight into Awakening of the Rebellion. In order to not launch straight into Awakening of the Rebellion should you want to play other mods or play vanilla AOTR again, you will have to delete the text in the modifications box, and it will allow you to go through Empire War like you always have. If you want to see me do an example of the Arcade Mode submod, it's the exact same process as I just showed. Click the link in the Discord for that one, on the internet site, click subscribe, and below will be the same looking Steam Mods text with different numbers. Select all of it, then go to Manage on your Steam Empire War page, under Properties and General, paste the text into the modifications box. If you want to use both submods at the same time, you will have to use the cinematic submod listed first, followed by the arcade mode, followed by the AOTR, in which spaces are required in between each mod. Your modifications box should look exactly like mine if you want to use both submods together. Some important details for using the submods is that you must be subscribed to the submods in the Steam Workshop as I showed earlier in the video in order for the submods to work. Also, the cinematic mod will work with old saves, but the arcade mode will require you to start a new campaign for its effects to work. 
One last detail, if you are in the mods section of Empire War Forces of Corruption, you will see the option to play the submods if you are subscribed to them, however clicking on these will only take you back to Forces of Corruption and not to the desired submod, meaning in order to play the submods, you must follow the instructions in the earlier part of the video. I highly recommend checking out these submods, especially the cinematic one, as it really makes the game more enjoyable aesthetically. Once again, the Discord for these submods is linked below, and if you have any questions, drop a comment and I will be sure to answer them. As always, consider subscribing if you are looking for more Awakening of the Rebellion content.